thank you for joining us for our spotlight information event with travel and tourism we have loads of great content coming up for you this evening and um, we're going to be having a Dartford campus tour um, and then a dedicated travel and tourism video. We'll be speaking with our curriculum manager for travel and tourism and a lecturer as well in the subject. Um, we will also be ending with a Q&A session at the end so please feel free to put any questions you have in the Q&A box and in the comments. Um, I'm going to pass you over to Amanda now, our curriculum manager. Thank you. Hello, hi. Um... Welcome to the Travel and Tourism Department. Uh, my name's Amanda. I'm the curriculum manager for the area. Um, I've been told to give a little bit of background about myself. Um, so many years ago, um, I did the, the Travel and Tourism course at our Gravesend campus. Um, I then went on to work in the Travel and Tourism industry um, for probably about 12, 13 years doing various jobs such as recruitment, customer service. I was a holiday rep for a short period of time. Um, and after, like I say, about 13 years, I came to work at the college back in 2006. Um, and I've been here ever since. Um, I was a lecturer in the beginning, um, but I've worked my way up now to the curriculum manager of the area. Um, today, I've got Helen with me. Um, who has also been here for a long time, um, but I'll let her introduce herself. Hello, I'm Helen Wood-Dixon. I'm one of the lecturers um, here at North Kent College. Um, I, I have also have a, a lot of experience, over 10 years experience of working with, within travel and hospitality and events. Um, my roles include working for um, many tour operators. Um, I've worked as a, um, overseas as a holiday rep, um, as well as working in various roles within hospitality and um, events. So my, uh, my knowledge and experience uh, goes through lots of different customer service uh, roles. Um, so yes, and after sort of working in the industry for a long time, I decided to, to um, have a hand at teaching. So I've been at Northland College for 13 years now. Um, back over to John. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you both. Um, so I'm just going to now play the Dartford campus tour video and then it will be followed by the dedicated travel and tourism video. So please enjoy. Thank you.
Molly. I'm currently studying travel and tourism in my second year, level three. I enjoy interacting with all my teachers. I get along really well with all my students. Even home learning is really fun. Not a lot of people like home learning, but I do really enjoy it. Um, the one thing I do love about working in this industry and studying travel and tourism is the terminal. We have a plane where we act out real life um, role play for the working industry, even going into for interviews, which we'll be asked to do that for interviews. Uh, on this course we do lots of trips and team building exercises to prepare us for the highly competitive industry. The kind of trips we do are here abroad, so Thailand, um, Barbados, Miami, Mexico. But we also do day trips, so we do a speedboat up the River Thames, we do panic rooms, we do all sorts of little trips like that as well. I look forward to achieving my diploma in travel and tourism and working in an industry that I love. Back over to you both to now begin the curriculum showcase talk. Hi, lovely, thank you. Um, okay, so um, we're gonna start off just telling you a little bit about what courses we offer. Um, within the travel and tourism area, we cover levels one to five. Um, so basically, if you have a passion and an interest and want to get into travel and tourism, um, the only stipulation is for us really is, is your enthusiasm. Um, we have a course to meet your, to meet your needs. Um, so level one is a real introduction to different areas of the course, uh, different areas of our industry. Um, level two, um, we look for five um, GCSEs, um, th grade three, um, and that takes you on to progression-wise a level three. So our entry requirements for our level three qualification, which is equivalent to A-levels, is five, grade four or above, um, ideally including maths and English. Um, as part of your study programme with us, you will get the opportunity um, to retake English and maths if you haven't already achieved the grade four or above. Um, and we, again, do that at different levels to suit your academic ability. Um, we also offer a level four and level five program. Um, they're run over um, individual years. Um, so if you want to get higher qualification um, and you don't necessarily want to go down the university route, you can do your level four and five with us giving you the option at the end to do a top up year in a university of your choice to gain your full degree. Um, and that would be dependent on your actual chosen career path. Um, how you can apply um, couldn't be simpler. Um, you just need to go to our website um, and click on the apply now box. Um, if you happen to have any um, problems with that, um, you can always just contact the, the college um, and I believe there will be um, an email sent out to you after this session um, with a dedicated contact. Um, that potentially will be me um, and then we can start the process and, and help, you, um, help you apply. Um, the application process, so once you've made that initial inquiry with us, um, is fairly straightforward. Um, once you've applied, we contact you via email um, and we ask you to complete um, a very straightforward online task. That just gives us an idea of kind of why you've chosen travel and tourism, what your, what your passion is. Um, and then once we've looked at that and got a little bit of, of an idea of perhaps what course may, may benefit you or may suit you best, um, you're invited to attend a Zoom presentation. Um, and that's where you get the opportunity to, to listen to us again, which is not always a bad thing, uh, meet some of the team um, and ask us question and answers um, within 
just a smaller um, a smaller group and not perhaps a, a live platform. Um, after that presentation, there is a one-to-one -one interview um, that you would have with our staff. At the moment, um, due to um, COVID, we are doing those online. Um, but we hope, as everybody does, that that will be over soon and we'll be able to get more more face to face contacts. Um, we are planning taster days um, towards the uh, after Easter we're aiming for with a view that we can then meet um, face to face and do things um, a little bit more um, normally. Um, but we'll keep you informed about them. It's important to us that we do that you get to meet us um face to face rather than than just than just online um so it may just be that we do something in smaller groups um it's really important that you are you feel that you're on the wrong the, the wrong course it's not important it's important you feel you're on the right course um so we do have regular um meetings with you and talks on a one-to-one -one basis to ensure that you've settled into the course well that you're coping with the level of work, um, especially if you come in um, and you're moving up from the GCSE level. Um, sometimes it can be quite overwhelming. Um, so we do meet with you regularly to make sure that you're on the right course. We're quite lucky here at the college. We, we have lots of different opportunities and lots of different departments. So it is sometimes possible that within the first sort of four to six week period, um, if you're finding that this course isn't what you expected or isn't what you thought it would be, um, we can possibly support you in trying different, uh, different areas within the college. Um, and that's really just to make sure that you're comfortable and you're doing, you're doing the right course. Um, so that's something to, to bear in mind. Um, I'm just going to pass you over to Helen, who's going to talk about the different... Um, working practices. Okay, so in terms of when you're actually um, with us and you start your induction and you're on the programme, there's different ways that we um, work with you and different ways that we assess you. Um, obviously this year has been quite um, a challenge in terms of getting our students um, confident on digital collaboration. So we use Microsoft Teams within the department. And um, you guys seem to be a lot quicker than we are, but um, the students actually really enjoy working within teams. So we have two days where students have been in college. So our contact time, and then we've had um, our remote lessons on one of those um, on one of those days as well. So a total of three days with us. Um, that doesn't mean that there isn't anything to do outside of the, um, of the actual lessons. There are some obligations and some um, work that you have to um, carry out outside of our session time um, because we focus a lot on not taking that knowledge to another step and are giving you a full study program. So we expect um, some contact in terms of getting your employability skills up, making sure that you are able to research the, the careers that you're looking into, you're able to apply correctly and an interview um, effectively. And in, an, in a sort of environment like this, where um, employers are actually interviewing online, um, our students are, are really geared up for that because they do that um, every week with us in session. So three days a week with outside, we think about five hours commitment outside the actual timetable um, a week. And that also obviously leaves our students um, some sort of time to get part-time jobs, part-time employment as well, to support their studies and our enrichment that we, we also offer. Okay. Okay. Um, so just to talk a little bit about our, our success, um, as a department, we're really proud of the, all of the achievements of our students. Um, con consistently, our success rates are, are very high. Um, and I think that boils down to our recruitment process, um, working with you to make sure that you're on the right course, on the right level. Um, so our success rates are usually above 97%. Um, so pretty much everybody that's on the course with us does, does achieve. Um, also, we have very positive destinations. Um, so by that, we, 
we mean where people go after the course. So it's not just about you coming here and, and gaining your qualification. For us, it's about making sure that you have somewhere to go after your qualification. Now, as Helen said, this year has been quite tough and our industry um, is struggling. It's taken a huge hit. But I would imagine 80% of the population, possibly 90% are, are like us. The minute we can safely get on a plane, um, that's something that we're all going to want to do because we all deserve and need holidays. Uh, we all want to go to concerts. We all want to go to to visit places and have days out. So our industry is going to come back um, with a with a massive bang, um, and probably just about the time you know our students are looking to go out to work. Um, so although things are not looking fantastic at the moment. That is going to change. You know, we've had, um, I say, disasters affect our industry in the past, and they've, it's always bounced back. It is one of the fastest growing industries out there, and it will continue to be. Um, previous students have had um, success with finding work in uh, for companies such as Virgin, British Airways, um, Tui Tour Operators, Cosmos. Um, we've had lots of students go on to Camp America, so they're taking a little bit of a break before they find the job that they really want to do. Um, we've had students go and work for cruise companies. Um, so the jobs, and even now in the industry, some of the companies are starting to recruit in preparation for a summer boom. Um, so there's lots of there's lots of avenues to, to take. There's lots of different areas that you can go to work in, but we really do help you focus on that. So it isn't just about finished qualification and we'll see you later. It's about helping you find that job. So we do lots of work within our program on employability skills. We do practice interviews. As Helen said, we're doing lots of digital collaboration because lots of the interviews have been for years re done remotely um, because lots of the bigger companies work um, outside of our area. So it's better for them to, to do that initial contact um, via um, a digital platform. Um, so we try and do as much as we possibly can to get you your qualification and build that skill base up for you so that you can go into, so that you can go into work. Um, we dedicate time each week to employability um, so that you're ready when the time comes for you to, to apply. Um, and we also support you if you wanted to go into higher education. As I said earlier, we run the level four and level five programs, but we run those alongside you working. So they're only for a day, uh, one day in college and an evening class so that you can do a full time job and gain those higher those higher qualifications. Um, and one thing that we really pride ourselves on, and we're really struggling with this year, is our enrichment, um, because we believe that you learn a lot more outside of the classroom as well. Um, and as our, one of our students there, Molly, said, we do lots of trips. So we always run a European trip, uh, a long haul trip every year, and we do as many day trips as we can to help support your curriculum. So depending on the units that you're studying, we will try and take you either to an employer, an attraction, um, a destination, um, to help build that knowledge base within that unit. Um, so that again, when you leave, you have a variety of experience, not just theory in the classroom, it's, it's the practical experience that, that is really important. Um, and alongside that, we work with um, local and national companies to get you um, appropriate work experience placements um, so that you, again, you have that all round experience, um, which will help you when it comes to the, the recruitment process. Um, I think that's it. Is there anything you wanted to add? This is how we work, sorry. Um, so um, if you um, are interested, you want to find out any more information, please do get in touch. Um, obviously, we're coming up to the Christmas break, um, but if you apply online with uh, this week, we will be able to, to do that interview before the Christmas break, so you can then 
know um, that you've got something um, to look forward to um, at the, well, September next year. It seems a long way away, but it, but it isn't. Um, so if you require any information to say log on online um, and start the application process, um, or send an email, which you'll receive a link to after this session, um, and we'll be able to get in touch and start that process with you um, tomorrow. Okay, so Shah, back to you. Perfect. Thank you for that insight on travel and tourism, guys. That was amazing. Um, if we've got a few questions coming in, if you just pop the Q&A box up on your screen and work your way through them, that would be amazing. Thank you. Okay, no problem. So the first question we've got um, is the industry is changing with COVID. How is the course being adapted? So I think Helen um, pretty much covered that with regards to us doing um, one day remote learning. So that means that you work from home. Um, we have lessons like this, um, but a lot more interactive. Um, we continually um, use different systems and different platforms um, that we're aware of that our industry are using so that when you come to that interview stage, you are um, fully adverse in using those, those platforms. And also, more importantly, you're confident. Um, it's quite difficult sometimes talking to a screen um, and you don't necessarily get your, your personality across. So the fact that we're doing that set, those sessions once a week means that you, you're not phased by it. Um, your confidence levels um, are there. Um, and we work with, with industry still to know what, what they're doing. We have previous students that are keeping us informed on how they're working and different um, platforms that they're using. Um, so we think that we've adapted quite well. Uh, we will keep adapting this year um, and changing things so that um, we are fully on top of, of what's happening. Um, and yeah, that's it. But, you know, a lot of our industry is face to face, which is why it's flat at the moment. Um, but we're doing everything in the background to ensure that um, you have all of the skills needed if you go for a job that is perhaps working remotely, that is working from home, um, because sometimes it can be a little bit a little bit difficult to adapt. Um, but you'll already be be used to that from the way that we are from the way that we're working now. Okay, do you want to take a second? Yes, I will. Um, can you tell me more about your facilities? Um, so we are um, on the second floor of B Blocks, the main reception of North Kent College, Dartford. Um, we've got an amazing terminal, and it's a real shame that you guys can't come in and visit as we normally would and showcase what we our facilities here, because we're incredibly proud of them. We have um, a mock cabin in our terminal which we use for both cabin crew um, for demonstrations and also for, um, we mock it up as a, uh, a coach as well for transfer speeches for our, um, our holiday rep, resort rep units. Um, we also have a, a check-in desk and we're, we're on track to, to order some more um, uh, furniture that we can use to, uh, to to really make the experience a little bit more like it would be in the workplace, especially for hospitality events and travel. So we, we give those customer service scenarios in a in sort of quite a real environment, which the, which the students absolutely love. So it's a, it's a facility that we we use a lot. Um, our other classrooms are geared up to different sort of areas, i.e. destinations. Um, we're in the events room here. Um, and we have um, visitor attractions as well. So we try and theme our rooms a little bit. Uh, we have a common room as well, which unfortunately we haven't been able to use this year, but the students hopefully towards the end of um, next year or the end of the term um, will be able to use as a place for the students to actually sit back and, and relax between lessons and speak to, to their friends um, or, or do work, which we also encourage. Um, so we're, you know, the facilities within our department are great, um, but also around the college as well. So we've got a, a large sports hall, we have a gym, we have a theatre, um, we have um, a large refectory and a coffee shop. So we've got lots of places that students can go and, um, and take part in um, any college enrichment that goes on. I think that answers that. Done. Okay. Right. Um, I like this, that we're taking it in turn. Yes, good. Right. 
What type of guest speakers do you have and what visits? <clears throat> okay, so as I said, we work really closely with, um, with companies. Uh, they're very keen to support um, training and to get um, younger people into industry. Now, our industry is, um, it, it's fun, it's vibrant, it's, um, it, it's just lots of fun. Um, so they're very keen to bring new people into, uh, into industry. So they work very, very well with us. Um, we've had um, cruise companies, we do cruise visits, so you go onto a cruise ship, uh, we have tour operators, um, small business owners, so um, restaurants, um, independent travel companies um, that come in and work with us. Um, we're introducing a, a mentor system, so if students show a particular interest in working in a particular area, um, we've got companies on board that will mentor those students, which gives you a real insight to what it's like to work um, in that in that job. Um, <clears throat> our visits consist of um, leads to give you some examples. We do so many visits. We um, we're quite keen on on visits. So to give you an example, Leeds Castle, um, Thorpe Park, um, Alton Towers. Um, where else did we go before we stopped? Attractions on the South Bank. So we've got yeah, uh, London Eye. Um, yeah. We've got our um, London Bridge experience. Um, we have gone to um, the O2 and Wembley behind the scenes there. We look around and we've been to travel agents where they've actually um, spoken about how it works on you know daily life of a travel agent and looking at all the systems. So any organisation locally are very on board with our students. So um, and that links quite well with work experience as well. And also our residential trips um, have consisted of um, the Isle of Wight, Portugal, we've been all over, um, France, so we've done Paris, done Disneyland, we've done Thailand, um, Los Angeles, um, New York, New York. Can, I, can I forget New York, um, New York, um, we've done lots of Europeans, we've done Tenerife, um, Bulgaria, skiing, um, so we, we try and make it as, um, as unique as possible to give you different experiences. Um, so yeah, so fingers crossed we can start doing that. We can start doing that very, very soon. Okay, we're good? Yeah. Um, what career can I go into after this? Um, Right, great question. That's a really good question. So what I, I normally say when, when a lot of students or applicants ask this is that the travel and tourism is a business um, like any other business. So it will give you the skills that you'd be able to use, um, transferable skills in any business environment. Um, so the, 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 ten, the careers that the students tend to come onto the course thinking that they would like to go into um, is cabin crew and resort repping. Um, the opportunity to travel seems to be the biggest pull for our applicants. And I think the, the fact that the applicants enjoy traveling is sometimes enough for them to take it further. And that was definitely in my case, I'd done a BTEC because I like traveling. And then I went on to a degree because I enjoyed the, the concept of travel. So um, jobs within cabin crew, we've got travel agent, retail travel agents, um, tour operations, we have uh, working for a visitor attraction, so visitor attraction management. We have working within the hotel sector, so hospitality. Um, we've got marketing. We do a unit that's marketing, so if it's more behind the scenes and um, presenting um, information and you know different styles of marketing. We look at sort of sustainable tourism and how we can um, we can uh, nurture it for the future and what organisations are doing in terms of. Um, uh, make, making that happen. Uh, so sometimes that's an angle. Um, cruising, working in cruising. the cruise uh, the cruise industry as well. Again, that opportunity to travel. And quite a lot of the applicants is, uh, want to find the positions that will allow them to travel um, in the future when they leave us. So, you know, working for international companies would definitely give them the opportunity to do that. And we do work very closely with the students to find out exactly what they, they're good at, what they would like to um, improve on. We have a year or two years, sometimes more, to, to help them build those skills so that they're, they're ready to go into the job that they're looking, they're looking at pursuing.
And quite often that changes the more they become aware of different opportunities within travel. Great, thank you. Right, so um, I'd like to become a travel agent. Will this course give me the skills? Um, yes, it will, definitely. Um, the, the travel agent role as such um, has changed dramatically over the last mm -hmm. 10 years. Um, technology has, um, has made it change. Um, so the role of a travel agent is very different to what it used to be, um, with lots of people booking their, their travel independently. So very often the travel agent role now is about giving information, advice, um, and trying to, to sell a holiday. But it's very much about that information giving process. So we certainly give you the skills to be able to do that. Um, but with that role, um, it isn't just about um, knowledge of destinations. It is about having those interpersonal skills and confidence to start a conversation and hold a conversation with a variety of different people, which is why our programs are also focused on building that skill set up. So we do lots of things within the classroom that perhaps you wouldn't have done before. We do lots of presentations, um, group work, teamwork, um, to build your confidence up so that you can do that role of um, a travel agent. Um, so, so yes, um, I'm sure the travel agent role will, will develop and change. Um, and I think it will be around for a little bit longer um, due to COVID where people want that security of booking now with a company rather than going on their own. Um, so they have that support when they're, when they're actually on holiday if anything um, does happen. Um, so yeah, we certainly do cover um, the skill set you, uh, you would need for that role. Um, and as I say, at the moment, it's travel agents recruitment that is happening. Um, so I think they're, they're kind of along the thinking the same way that more people are going to want that support of somebody taking control of their booking so that if anything does happen, they have that support to, to help them. Um, so, yes, we definitely cover that. OK, um... Will I get to learn about cruises and entertainment repping? Um, absolutely, you will. Um, the um, resort reps is a unit um, across all the levels, I believe, from level one, two mm -hmm. and yeah. three. So we, we have it through all our different um, and four. And four. Um, resort repping is, is definitely something um, that applicants are looking at doing and myself and Amanda and other members of our um, our team have worked as holiday reps, as resort reps, seen how the positions changed um, and um, can offer some sort of really valuable advice in terms of how the reality of being a rep um, and um, that hopefully gives them the skills to then then apply. Um, where we have uh, we know the, the key recruit, recruitment drives for particular careers, um, so we we encourage the students when they get to that age because you have to be eighteen to apply for for repping. Um, that we just before they turn eighteen, which is normally um, you know that sort of last term of of their second year level three, they start applying um, there, and we can help them with that process as well. So yes, is the answer to that. Um, that question <laughs> you will you will definitely learn about resort reps and crews okay so um just uh, the next question is um what are the entry requirements so did just to go over that um again um level one um is is just enthusiasm that's all we look for that's your entry requirement enthusiasm and passion for for our industry um level two is for GCSEs, um, it can be um, any grade, ideally grade three. Uh, level three is five, grade four or above, um, preferably including maths and English. The level four um, and five is just a progression route. So you would need A levels to get onto that, to get onto that programme. Uniform, um, yes, we, we introduced a uniform um, about 
um, three, three years ago, three or four years ago. Um, and the reason why we introduced it is it was um, getting our students ready for a corporate environment. And um, within travel, hospitality and events, um, there is uniform if you're front of house, meet and greet. Uh, so um, that's standardising how students look across the department and getting our own brand um, was really, really important. And it has really helped us in terms of um, making the students feel part of a team. They look professional, they feel professional, and they definitely work more effectively when, when they are in their uniform. We do have non-uniform days um, as well, um, but yeah, there is a uniform. At the moment, we, are, we, we do revisit the uniform once a year, um, but this year, uh, the, the outlay of cost for the uniform would just be um, the, the tie, for, um, the, the tie and the scarf that the students wear, and then they can buy their own, excuse me, <clears throat> by their own um, black shirts and um, skirts and trousers. So it's not complex, it's not too expensive, but it definitely helps applicants or students to look more professional. Okay, okay next question, where is the course based? That's an easy one. We're based at Dartford. Um, I don't need to say anymore. Okay. You know, well, I could do actually. We're based at Dartford. I'm sure it comes up somewhere else, but um, we are a little bit outside of Dartford Town Centre, um, but there is a free bus service um, that runs from Dartford train station. Um, and wh wherever you are, um, it's fairly straightforward to get to the Dartford um, train station. Um, and so then the, the shuttle bus, um, I was gonna say as we call it, but I think it's just, everyone calls it a bus, um, is, um, is free. So you can jump on that at Dartford train station and it brings you up to the college. They run very regularly um, to and fro throughout the day. Okay, and um, do you support people with learning diff uh, difficulties? Um, absolutely we do. We have a designated um, learning support assistants within our department, one of which has worked with this for, for as long as I've been working here, so it must be about 10 years, um, and works for all our students that, has, um, that have learning difficulties. Um, we also obviously support the, the curriculum as well as, as lecturers, one-to-one, um, -one, regular meetings, regular contact, and we adapt um, assessments um, accordingly if we need to. Uh, so yeah, definitely uh, learning difficulties um, is, um, is supported within travel and tourism. Okay, um, could you tell me more about our level four course? Okay, so the level four program, as I said, has, um, it's a natural progression from level three. Um, the good, the good thing with our course, um, which is why it differs to university, is that you're in, you're on site one day a week um, and you do one evening um, a week. Um, what that means is that you can work a full time job, um, especially we would obviously encourage it to be within our industry um, and still complete a level four qualification. Um, now, employers like that. It's something that you can go to interview with saying, look, I'm, I'm doing, you know, I want to, to, to get a higher qualification, but I also want to work full time and link that qualification to, to what I'm doing. Um, it shows that you're really serious about career progression um, and the jobs that you're applying for. Um, and we've had lots of students that do it whilst working and the, the course links very much with what they're doing in their, in their job. Um, and it's really nice for students to be able to share their, their kind of real life experiences um, within that, within that programme. Um, and progression from that level four, as I said, goes on to level five. Um, and once you've done those two years with us, um, and I should add that it's cheaper than going to university. Um, you then have that option to attend a university of your choice to get that final top up, which will give you your full degree. Um, so it's quite nice if you, you're not quite ready to move out of home, if you don't want to, to pay the full university costs, if you've got a job uh, and you want to keep that job, but also get that higher, that higher qualification. Um, so it works, we, we think it's, um, it's slightly better um, because it does allow you to do a full-time job whilst getting the qualification. So you get a higher qualification and experience at the same time, which then helps your career progression. Um, you can 
you know, there's lots of opportunities within our industry. It's ever changing, it's very fast. So there are lots of opportunities to progress your career. But if you have a higher qualification along with experience, naturally your progression is going to be is going to be quicker. Okay. Um, good. Yeah. Uh, do you offer work placements? Um, yes, we do work experience placements, and we do um, we do tailor them to the, the needs of the applicant. Um, so it's up to them to work with us in terms of what they're interested in working in. And um, we have uh, many organisations that have worked with us previously. This year has been difficult, obviously for obvious reasons. Um, but students are, are geared up to know where they would like to take opportunities. Um, and, that, and that's really important. So we just, we definitely relish in the fact that students take placements because that can lead to employment and it definitely picks up their, their skills. So yes. <clears throat> okay, also just to add there, as I said earlier, just to reiterate, we do do a mentor. Some of our, our companies are looking to do mentoring programs <clears throat> as well. Uh, which is slightly different to a block of, of work experience. And we are working with our business development team um, who do a regular work placement. So kind of one day a week in a company, um, three days a week in college, um, which works quite well for some people because then you've got that whole year's worth of experience to go with the qualification. Um, so it's something that we that we discuss with you when you when you start. Okay, um, I think we've already gone through how do I apply, but you'll be able to apply online on online on the website, um, and our marketing team will definitely get in contact with you post you know for, after this um, live session with any questions. Um, if you are having any problems, the communication and contact numbers are there, uh, but you can apply today online. Okay, and I. I think possibly the last one, because we may run out of time, um, the days and hours that you're expected to be in. So days differ, um, hours will be between 12 and 16 study hours a week. The reason for the difference is, as I said earlier, you will need to possibly reset your maths and English if you haven't got that grade four. Um, it will be, as it stands at the moment, we are doing two days in college, one day working remotely. Um, and that's all based at our Dartford, um, at our Dartford campus. Okay, so I think that's it, Sean, with our um, Perfect. questions. Lovely, amazing. Amazing insight there to travel and tourism. Um, as it was mentioned, I believe Amanda and Helen may have mentioned it. If you are interested in any more information, um, you want a bit more one-to-one -one support, then there will be a follow-up email to all pre-registrants um, with with contact details there and um, if you're watching on facebook then you can head over to the event page and there's also contact details there um, but as a whole if you are interested in travel and tourism then obviously please head over to the website on the home page there is the apply online button um, and then obviously go through the motions with the application process um, thank you both for the insight it's been absolute pleasure as always and Thank you to everybody, everybody that's watched as well. So have a lovely evening. Bye. 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 Bye.